Harry served in Afghanistan. He did 10 years in the Blues and Rolls. And over the last couple of years, he has taken on some of the responsibilities, military responsibilities, that used to be held by the Duke of Edinburgh. Um, and one of those, one of the most prestigious titles that Harry holds is he is the Captain General of the Royal Marines. And I'm wondering, how are former military colleagues, how are military, uh, the, the military in this country in general, viewing this idea that a member of the royal family is going to effectively resign their position, or at least half their position. Well, joining me to talk about that is James Glancy. Now, I must declare an interest, a political interest, because James is a Brexit Party MEP, at least for the next fortnight he is. But we're not talking about politics, because James is a former Royal Marine, an officer in the Special Boat Service, decorated for his actions in Afghanistan. James, good morning. Morning, Nigel. How are you? I am well, but I... You see, I think this, James, I think that Harry was born into this position and with it comes uh, a lot of privilege, uh, money, opportunity, chance to travel the world, but also something called duty. And I, I think he's rather turned his back on his duty. How do you, as a, as a former Royal Marine and SBS officer, uh, he is, of course, your Captain General, James. Yeah, I, I totally agree. And, and, and duty is the right word. And that is why we have so much respect for the royals, is because they've dedicated their lives to the country and they and they serve. And they never ask for any commercial opportunities, anything else. They serve our country and they hold patronage as, as a result of their birthright. Now, Harry's been a, a great public servant. He's did two tours of Afghanistan. I was there on one of, them, on one of his tours. I remember him on the net. Um, he's done a brilliant work in charity since he's left um, the armed forces, especially with the Invictus Games and other uh, conservation charities. But his behaviour in the last year is not becoming of somebody that holds these important uh, positions, these patronages, including that of the Captain General. Now, I've spoken to other uh, Royal Marines and other people in the military, and they're very upset, if not disgusted, by the disrespect to the Queen by not discussing this. Everybody agrees that if he wants to leave those positions, if he wants to go abroad with his wife, he's absolutely entitled to have another life. And he's entitled to live overseas. But you can't do this half and half. You're either in or you're out. And what's even worse is the thought of this privatisation of the monarchy. Everyone was up in arms when they talked about private, the Americans privatising the NHS. Well, of course, the public is up in arms about a Canadian wanting to privatise the monarchy. It's not acceptable. You either do one or the other. Mm. But you don't sit as Captain General or in any other position and think you can make millions of pounds because that opportunity is not available to a soldier, to a Marine who's on £20,000 a year. They can't turn up to their commanding officer and say, you know what, boss, actually, I'm going to go and live in another country, but would you mind still paying me? And James, is it right that you said that you would not, at a Royal Marine get-together, toast your Captain <laughs> General? I think I've already said that in a bit of haste. Uh, the bottom line is if Harry uh, continues to devote himself uh, as HRH, as he has done, of course I would do. He has been an admirable public servant. But if he does go down this route of semi-privatising his role, earning millions, and then thinks he can continue to uh, gain our respect, no, I wouldn't. So what does he need to do, James? Does, does he need, need to make clear that actually he's going to spend most of his time in this country? It's not about time. I think he's got a right to live with his family wherever he wants. But you you cannot commercialise this money. operation. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. It's one or the other. Yeah. We In the military, you are paid a small amount of money and you serve your country because that's what you sign up to do. You, you don't get paid and decide you're going to have a second career on the side. That's not how it works. And that, that is not how it works being no. a royal. James, thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning. Well, that was former Royal Marine officer, officer in Special Boat Service, decorated veteran from Afghanistan.